As far as producers, I can't remember his name because it was so many. I just remember it being a Bilal uh, sample and us having to really call Bilal himself to get the sample cleared. So shouts out to Bilal for clearing the sample. Um, actually, that record got put together crazy. I, I had already talked to Ross. I wrote the hook and um, I sent it to, to Tori to put a verse on it. And when he sent it back, I was like, well, you, this is better than my hook. So I made his part the hook and, um, and, and, and Ross put his first one of course and when we put it all together it was a perfect blend for a, a perfect song you know what I'm saying and I, it's been a while since I've done a song like that uh, I'm, th I'm thinking since I do featuring um, Jay-Z and um, Andre 3000 and I just feel like you know that was one of the ones so shouts out to them for that um, what does uh, pressure what's the impact that this album has being your eighth album on for your catalog uh, I think it's a great addition I think it's a great addition. It definitely shows that my range is a lot, you know, wider than, you know, most might think, you know, because, you know, I, I've been around since the crunk music era, since the snap era, all these things, but I pretty much stick to my guns and keep my quality the same, you know, as a, as, as a Sade, if you will, or Maxwell, or somebody who's really into their art. So I try not to just get too, too much attached to the things that are happening in real time because you know, they happen and then they're gone, or either they happen and they stay, and if that's not who you are, and, and you kind of jump on that wagon, it's gonna be hard for you to keep your craft, you know, solid to your, your base and the people who really love you for what you do. You know what I'm saying? So to me, my music is more about inspiring and motivating and, and, and dropping, you know, wisdom and, you know, whatever my um, adversity was, you know, hopefully that can help you in some type of way. You don't have to really be from the streets. When I hear Michael Phelps say that he listens to my music before he swims, you know what I mean? That's that's real. When I see a 65-year-old man yesterday at a show I did that was doing the, the lights and the graphics tell me he's one of my biggest fans, that's a lot. If, when I hear President Obama shout me out at a correspondence dinner, that lets me know that my message is being well received, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 